day two of the Northumberland diving investigations and the team are trying to identify the exposed features on the wreck. It's a complex site and its appearance frequently changes with the shifting sands. Artifacts, structures and cannon can appear and then disappear between the changing of the tide. This makes interpreting the archaeological remains a challenge, but this is our task for the week ahead. That's the second dive, and we've all come up nice and safe. The viz was really good, we've had flat carbon conditions. Shot went in sort of in the middle of the site, and myself and Michael, we went off to the southeast end, and Tom and Tom, you you went off towards the northwest. And Tom, what were you? You were you had a specific job looking at the um, the guns. So I went off to check out these group of concretions with a cannon in the middle here, and I photogrammetrised there, swimming up this way. And you come over structure, you come over big, massive concretions, and you can just come see the button, probably one of the biggest buttons I've seen underwater of the cannon so that's there. That's the breach end. Follow the, the breach end, and you follow it off to the muzzle this end, and it's still it's a huge gun. Doug, you yep. you you were looking. Well, you went all over the place, but you said yep. you were, you started seeing some interesting things in in amongst this conglomerate. Yeah, I went up to where the cannon was. Nice big cannon, probably off the main gun deck. But if we get measurements of that, you'll be able to tell. Then swam back down into here, and this whole you know concretion mass is really interesting. There's a lot of copper in there, so you've got the copper pot as well as possibly some chests. Um, just broken open and on the sides you can see bits of wood in there and possibly you know formations of other bits in there there's also the sheaths that are sticking out like vitite sheaths plus some pulleys so you know a lot of potential archaeological potential in there really interesting well that's brilliant and, and the sh sheaths or this group of sheaths could be a clue to where where we are on the ship yeah. I mean I have to say Michael and I saw that too and we concentrated on filming that and it, there must be half a dozen of these large sheaths together which suggests they could, they could be part of the storeroom, the boson store, yeah. which is closer to the forward end yeah. of, the sh of the ship. End of day two and we have lots of interesting features to investigate further during tomorrow's dives. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Northumberland Diaries.